Vostok 1 was the rocket that successfully launched the first man into space, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. The titles cosmonaut and astronaut are actually interchangeable, with one being used by NASA and the other being used by the Russians. Curiously, the Chinese space explorers in English are referred to as astronauts, and when being referred to in Russian, they're described as cosmonauts. Now, whilst, again, the Russians beat the Americans this feat, they did so only by 25 days, and in a vehicle that was miles behind the sophistication of the American Mercury and later Gemini space programs. Like the Americans, the Russians had had failures with their rocket launches, but due to careful press management, the general public were largely unaware that about half of the Russian launches had so far ended in failure. An example of this fragility can be seen in that just before the launch of Vostok 1, once they'd closed the hatch, there was a reported fault with the seal, and they spent nearly an hour removing and then resealing the hatch. However, the quality of the space vehicle can actually be questioned. What cannot be questioned is the quality of the man inside. Yuri Gagarin was sealed inside a small ball of a craft that resembled that of a bathysphere, used for diving to the depths of the oceans. The sphere was perched atop a Vostok K rocket filled with 258 tons of rocket fuel. The sphere itself was just over 2 metres in diameter and weighed nearly 2.5 tonnes, a large proportion of which was actually the heat shield. Now, during problems with the pre-launch and the actual 1 hour 48 minutes of the space flight, Gagarin remained calm and professional at all times. During the flight, Gagarin completed nearly a single orbit of the Earth, reaching a maximum altitude of 203 miles and landed relatively close to his takeoff point. However, rather than landing with his craft, the cosmonaut parachuted away from the craft whilst he was still four miles from the Earth, just as he was supposed to, before the sphere actually smashed into the ground. Though the vehicle did deploy its own parachute before hitting the ground, it's highly unlikely that the Yaren would have survived the impact had he been with the craft. This does mean that Yo though Yuri Gagarin is the first man in space, the first person to travel to space and safely return with the space vehicle is actually Alan Shepard, the later pilot on the moon landings. Now, in keeping with the Soviet practice, the rocket launch was only announced after it had been successfully completed, so that they can control the news if something went wrong. However, like the successful Sputnik 1 mission, the first man in space sparked worldwide public interest in everything to do with space, and the possibility of Missions to the moon, manned space stations were now envisioned as something the Americans or the Russians would soon achieve. Being pipped again just by a few days in a significant milestone in space thrust the Americans forward, funneling even more money and effort into the space race, which would culminate in the moon landings. However, for the Russians, they had attempted to compete with the Americans, it represented a high watermark of their space exploration, as for the moment they were at the limits of their technology. But it will challenge America later in the fields of satellites, unmanned space probes and space stations.